So in order to um, weld stainless with this machine, you will go down your program list and pick stainless. You have programs for 308 in 030 and 035. This requires a gas argon with 2% CO2. So this is a 98-2. You need 98% argon, 2% CO2. And then if you're like me, too slow to hit the select button, it selected it for you. MIG stainless steel 308 030 argon with 2% CO2 pulse. So here you have your amperage, your arc voltage, your material thickness. Use those as rough guidelines. Here is your arc length and um, you have your start speed. You want this to be anywhere between um, 50 and 70%. And then you want the start time to be 0.3, burn back 004, pinch can be at um, between 80 and 100. Uh, T2 is your slope down. You may not need that because stainless typically does not leave a crater. Pre-flow and post-flow. If you wish so, you can run a very long post-flow on this in order to shield your weld at the end, standard and metric settings. So you dial this in for like eighth inch material. You probably, you probably want to be anywhere between uh, 330 to, three, to 400 inches a minute. So let's start at like 370. And then you would weld and depending on if, how long your arc length is, you want to make sure your arc length is short enough where it's not all long and fanning out, but you also don't want it to be too short. When you hear any crackling, like firewood crackling, you need to raise your voltage up to where the crackling stops and your arc cone goes from a uh, occasional short circuit to a true spray transfer. Now, in some instances, depending on how your gas is mixed, uh, you may have to be as high as positive 3 volts. Typically, on most other programs, um, an adjustment would be plus or minus 1 or 2 on stainless. Depending on how cold your gas is, it can be a little bit higher.